Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Alex and this is The Car Creative. I hope that this video finds you well. Uh, today's video I am super excited about. It's one that I've been waiting for a long time to make because I've been chatting with a guy named Eric McRitchie who is a professional photographer. And what do I mean by professional? Well, this means that he's worked for huge brands like Bauer, Columbia, and the one that I think we're most interested in, which is Lexus Canada. He's also successfully built his own Instagram channel, as well as another one called From Barrel to Bottle, where he works with other guys creating really cool content for a bunch of liquor companies, one of them being Aviation Gin. And oddly enough, when I was hanging out with him for this video, he was actually chatting with the Ryan Reynolds. So pretty nuts what this guy has accomplished. Now on top of all of that, he is a husband, a father, and an incredible human being to be around. I just have so much respect for this guy. So I think you guys are gonna value what he has to say, so stick around. He has a Lexus RC 350 F Sport that he needs to shoot for Lexus Canada. I'm gonna go take along and he's gonna answer a few questions for us, you and me, on how to work with big brands. So the tips that he gives us guys are actually incredible. Like for me alone, they're just so helpful. So I think this video is going to be extremely useful for people like you and me, whether you are a new photographer or someone that's been in the business in a long time, but is still looking to get new clients or how to react to clients or how to reach out to clients or how to write emails to clients. Like there's so much that you and I need to learn and he has done it all. So let's get out there and I'm going to ask him a whole bunch of questions. And then when we are done with that, we'll come back here and kind of chat about what it all means for you and me as creators. Creators. Guys, Eric McCritchie here. I'm a commercial photographer out of Calgary, Alberta, and Alex, the car creative, has asked me to come out tonight and tell you a little bit about myself and a little bit about the things that I do. So here tonight we're uh, shooting the Lexus RC350 and uh, got an opportunity tonight to take some new photos for Lexus Canada. And I've been working with them for the last three or so years, just doing some content creation for them, doing some uh, commercial photography. And uh, it all started out actually, funny enough, through an Instagram post that I made a few years ago. I was on a lifestyle shootout in the mountains. I took a photo of a young couple that was sitting on the back of a Lexus and I posted it on my Instagram page. And uh, I had somebody from Lexus reach out to me asking if they'd be able to use that image. And I think in the commercial photography, world there's a lot of thought sometimes that uh, you know if any brand ever wants to use your content if they ever want to use your stuff that you need to charge them but at the time you know I wasn't really making any money doing photography very little at the time and so I was way more interested in a long-term partnership with a big brand than I was any one image that I could sell to them and so I said yeah totally feel free to use it but in the future if you're ever interested in, in working with me if you ever have, have needs in photography keep me in mind they gave me the uh, typical response uh, yeah thanks we'll, we'll keep you in mind which normally means that I'll never hear from them again but funny enough like six months later somebody from their team reached out to me and said hey we've got a need we've got an opportunity for a project coming up and would you like to be a part of that and uh, I thought that that was an amazing lesson for me just realizing that they're really the relationships and the partnerships that you can form long term with people are way more important than any one off you see I, I was interested with brands and forming long term partnerships just because I, I want to do this for a living I want to have a sustainable business model that can kind of take care of our family and, and pay the bills over a long period of time and so so uh, brands are interested in people that are going to be adding value to them, who are easy to work with and who are going to be contributing to their long-term strategy. And so for me, I said, you know, how can I help with that? That opened a really cool door that's led to like a, a good like long-term partnership with, with Lexus, which has been amazing. And it all started with just a simple ask that could have either been a shut door or a new opportunity. And I'm, I'm really grateful that it turned into something. So for a lot of you guys, you're maybe brand new with photography, you're just getting going, you're trying to figure out what it looks like for you to actually build relationships with brands and what it might actually look like for you one day to get paid doing this. 
Well, I think there's a few things that I can offer you that might help you on your journey. Uh, number one is, is that you need, to, you need to grind. You need to work hard. You need to pick the brands and the things and the people that you want to work with and you need to set your heart to it. And you need to keep working at it. Uh, don't take a no right off the bat as a shut door. Uh, keep finding ways to bring value to brands and, and to pitch them opportunities and ideas that they might one day be interested in. And so when it comes to working with a brand, let's say you want to work with a, a, a car brand that you really love. You need to make sure that you're offering them something that they need right so don't don't cold call or don't slide into those dms and try to get them to pay you for something they've never seen you do before you need to go and find a car you need to find that brand you need to shoot it you need to showcase what you're able to do to get their attention and you know that's the first step just get it just getting a foot in the door and that's honestly a huge part of the battle and some some ways you can do that is number one you can you can slide into a dm but never just slide in just with a, a message make sure you're sending images make sure you're showcasing what you've done um, make sure you're interacting with the brand regularly make sure you're posting that brand on your channel because most brands and the marketing teams are going to look at what you've already been posting and that's going to be their base for what you're able to do and so if you've never shown them any love if you've never shown any interest in, in them publicly or anything like that they're going to look at your page and just say okay uh, there's not really anything here for us number two you can uh, track down the marketing teams pretty much all the major brands are not being run by somebody sitting at an office at Lexus or Toyota or wherever it is they're run by agencies agencies have the contracts for all these big brands and so you need to find the agency that's repping these brands you need to find the marketing person that's in charge of this contract with that agency and you need to find an email address or find a way that you can then get in touch with them and again when you do that don't just send a text email don't just send an email that says hey I want to shoot for you guys make sure that you're showcasing well and professionally what you're able to offer this is gonna get some attention people are gonna to start to kind of perk up a little bit and really what's likely to happen off after that uh, even if your work is is phenomenal and incredible what's gonna happen is they're gonna give you the kind of pat answer say thanks thanks for this this is awesome I will keep you in mind and that's not a no okay that's an opportunity for you to just keep going with it uh, keep showing them love thank them for their time make sure that you shoot some more stuff send it in update them check in in another uh, couple weeks three weeks don't pester them because that's annoying but uh, just show them like a consistent willingness to be easy to work with and wanting to create content for them at some point they're gonna start to notice and after that that's gonna be your opportunity to start to maybe leverage into something that could potentially become paid paid work and so uh, yeah use those opportunities lean in and just keep going with it did you ever get a no <laughs> all the time i still get no's all the time yeah always yeah like i mean yeah probably more no's than you do yeses don't take it personally yeah. like if, if a brand if you reach out to them and, and they say no that's not a personal slight against the quality of your work or you as a person that's just maybe it's the wrong timing maybe they just spent their whole marketing budget this year and they've allocated certain amounts to different campaigns different ways that they're going to spend it throughout the year and so if you come up with an idea that's outside of that scope it's just an automatic no so timing is like really important like super important so don't be discouraged by it Uh, so Alex asked me to talk about just a couple things that uh you want to maybe pay attention to as you're getting started working for brands. Uh, a little bit of advice that I'd like to give you is number one, check your ego at the door. Honestly, you're going into a brand, they're going to have seen better, better creators, guaranteed. And if you come in thinking you know more than they do, um, they're really going to sense that coming off a long way away. And so I, I would like to suggest that maybe the better approach is to be humble. Uh, come in with some humility. Come in with confidence. Yes, you know what you're doing. You know what you're trying to accomplish, but also be humble. And what does that, what does that look like? Well, number one, you can take feedback. You know, if, if, a, if a client or somebody that you're trying to work with is going to feed back on some work that you're really proud of don't let that be a personal insult to you right be okay with it roll with it remember you're shooting for them number two be easy to work with don't come in with a long list of expectations that you have as a creator um, you need to come in being willing to be flexible being willing to, to morph and to shift even on expectations understand what your value is understand what your your you've been asked to do but at the same time remember there is like thousands and thousands of other people that are out there that could do what you're doing right now and so come in there be easy to work with uh, be humble 
be kind. Remember that you're building long-term relationships with these agencies and these people, and they're gonna remember how it is that you were to work with. So a lot of people think that with Instagram and trying to build your audience and build your brand is that you're gonna need like a, you know, a million followers in order to get any kind of paid work, and that's simply not the case. Uh, really, what your Instagram can be is just a public portfolio of the work that you've accomplished. I know some uh, incredibly renowned commercial photographers with less than a thousand followers on Instagram. So don't rely on your following in order to book your brand work. Actually let the quality of your work dictate uh, the types of partnerships that you're gonna have. Yes, use Instagram, but don't focus on it. I know some people that chase the numbers and chase the following relentlessly, and it becomes like a, uh, like a fixation. Meanwhile, if they are putting that same amount of energy and effort into actually booking paid work, they would actually have a business that would be sustainable. And so don't fixate on Instagram. Yes, use it, but don't overuse it. Don't worry about it that much. It's not that big of a deal. If you're passionate about what you're creating, if you are uh, creating your best work that you're proud of, you're building a good relationship with other people, the following and stuff is gonna come. It, it will be a natural outcome of that and it will be less important actually than the work that you're gonna be booking anyway. And last little tip that I'd like to leave you guys all with is, I would just encourage you, just keep going. Build great relationships with people so that it's a joy when you're working. Uh, make sure that it's not just all like pain and anguish because you're gonna get pretty frustrated and uh, create things that you're proud of. Create things that you're passionate about and do it with other people and you're gonna have a lot of fun on the way and then if the business takes off and you do start to make money, it's gonna be that much more enjoyable in the end. So good luck guys, I hope this was helpful to you and I can't wait to see what you get up to. So there you go guys, that is Eric McRitchie. He is so full of wisdom, advice, and obviously has so many skills that he can pass down to people like us. So I'm just super grateful for Eric that he spent the time with me and answered questions for us as well. I love his attitude towards work, the grind, how to treat people and how to be humble and be confident. I love that, be confident in what you know, but humble in your approach. I think that's huge. So I really don't have much to add because he's obviously the expert and uh, I was learning just as much as you were so if you guys like this video please smash that like button for me consider subscribing because it helps the channel and i love making content like this for you and otherwise we will see you in the next one peace